really. <laughs> can you feel the tension in the air right now? I know I can. I can feel it all the way down in my plums, getting all swollen with a light blue hue to them, fresh and juicy, ready for the picking. All the school children are lining up to put them in the sack lunches. Hey, that plum looks good. Can I trade it for your Twinkie? No, these are my plums. I want to bite into that plum and let the juice spill down my chin. You know what I mean? All the while, everyone's saying, <laughs> I want the juice to spill the... <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, my plums, beautiful bluish hue, the sun just dancing right off of them, just nice. Getting ready to take them to market. Feel it down in my plums. <laughs> I can feel it down in my plums. They're getting a nice bluish hue. Getting ready to take them to the farmer's market. Special two plums for one. <laughs> I can feel it down in my plums. Feel the tension in the air. <laughs> and I told my wife Beverly when I was on top of her. <laughs> what? Don't motherfucker, no. don't laugh. When I was on top of her, making intense, painful love. <laughs> Consider it done, okay? And listen to me. I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. This moment came to me in a dream. About a month ago, I was making love. My wife Donna, on top of her, thrusting away. A sultry, hot evening. All the windows closed. The heat turned up to about 82, so it gets sweaty and hot. My hips thrusting down on Donna, her trying to get away, because she does not like it. When I hear a sound, I rap at the door, my young son Gabriel walks in. My wife says, no, Gabriel, leave. I say, no, let the boy watch. Let the boy watch. He needs to learn the way I learned from my father. The way he learned from his father. 